Yoga owes its amazing modern popularity to the work and dedication of gurus and masters that came from India. Few of them were more influential than Paramahansa Yogananda, who introduced many Westerners to the teachings of meditation and Kriya Yoga. His name means bliss, ananda, through divine union, yoga, and his hope was for a united world that would combine the best qualities of efficient America and spiritual India, in his own words. His book, Autobiography of a Yogi, is a perennial bestseller that has been in continuous publication since it first appeared in 1946 and is widely regarded as a modern spiritual classic. To speak about this great guru and the organization he founded, I invited today Brother Kalyanananda and Brahmachari Martin. Or let's say in the Bible it says, be still and know that I am God, and that's the Old Testament. So that goes back into the Jewish tradition. The problem only is that nobody told us how to go inside, but that's where yoga comes in. That's where Yogananda comes in with the techniques that he gave the world because there is a science how we can interiorize our consciousness our, and take the searchlight of our senses that is normally directed to the world, reverse it, turn it inward and become aware that we are not this body, that we are not this restless mind, but that we are the soul and the soul is one with God. And that is true for all religions. Kriya Yoga is the main teaching. It's the main technique that Yogananda brought to the West. It was a technique that was hidden for many millenniums. It's a technique that Krishna taught uh, the millenniums before Christ, and Christ taught a technique or something very similar to Kriya Yoga to his disciples. And it's a life force control. Uh, most meant, a lot of meditation is mental. But the problem with controlling the mind with the mind is that you need a lever. You can't, the mind is the problem. So if you control the energy, where the energy there is, there is the consciousness. And that's what Kriya Yoga is. So that's this unique technique that Yogananda brought. The second thing that he taught was to love God and to seek God. That gets lost in the shuffle sometimes because why are you meditating? You're meditating to love God. So love for God is a huge thing. And then non-attachment and even mindedness. What do you think is the most important message that the Self-Realization Fellowship that Yogananda has for the modern world. The purpose of life is to seek God, but that's going to turn off half the people because of the way God is understood. So the purpose of life is to seek supreme happiness inside. There is a scientific way to find that happiness within ourselves. It might take a while, you uh, will not get it immediately. It depends a lot on our past actions, karma, it depends a lot of our circumstances, but it is within every single one of us. Mm -hmm.